right, in this video, we're going to take a look at an exponential growth and decay type problem. All right, suppose that the population of a bacterial culture doubles every 10 minutes. So that right there is an important piece of information. At time t equal 50, the bacteria population was 1,250, 1,280. What is the initial population at time t equals 0? All right, the key to one of these um, exponential growth and decay problems is that you basically have a two-step problem every time. You have to find the rate at which this particular bacteria is growing at, and then you need to answer the question. All right, so in my first part, I'm going to find my rate. All right, I'm going to use the initial piece of information that they gave me. All right, this doubles every 12 or every 10 minutes. All right, so the population doubles every 10 minutes. So I don't know what the initial population is, but I know it doubles. So if I say, okay, I've got an initial population P and then it doubles, all right? So then there's showing the relationship between I started with P and I doubled here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and use PERT formula here. So then times E raised to the, it doubled every 10 minutes. So there's your time times your rate. All right, now from here we can just uh, cross off both p's from both sides of the equation and take the natural log of both sides because this is an exponential equation. So I'm going to have natural log of 2, natural log of e raised to the 10r. All right, now a lot of different ways here you can think of this. You can bring this down in front, 10r jumping that frog there for your log rule, and natural log of e is 1. Okay, so then basically this equals 10r. So I've got natural log of 2 is equal to a 10r. I can go ahead and solve for r by dividing by 10. So natural log of 2 divided by 10 is equal to r. All right, now I'm not going to grab a calculator or do anything with that. I'm going to leave that um, right there just as a natural log of 2 over 10. Now I'm actually going to answer my question. All right, what was the initial population at time t equals 0? All right. Um, at time t equal 50, which I'm going to use, the bacteria population was 1280. What was the initial population? Okay, so I'm going to, again, use um, the PERT formula. Okay, so I'm ending at 1280. I don't know what the initial population is. I've got E raised to my rate which I now know as natural log of 2 over 10, and then the rate times the amount of time, and that's 50 for that population of 1280, so times 50. All right, this is going to simplify really nicely. 50 divided by 10 is going to give me a 5, so I'll have 1280 is equal to PE raised to the 5 natural log of 2, and I'm trying to solve for P there, so I'm just going to divide both sides of the equation by E raised to the 5 natural log of 2. So I'll have 1280 over an E raised to the 5 natural log of 2, and that's my population. All right, and as that form, if you were not using a calculator, it doesn't really make sense. If you had a calculator and you wanted to put that in, you would get an even 40 there. All right, so definitely... A pretty straightforward exponential growth and decay problem. Every one of these you generally have to do two steps. You have to find the rate first. That is the rate at which the population or whatever that you are dealing with, the culture, the bacteria, the population, the rate at which it is changing. All right, the PERT formula, which I said several times. All right, P times E raised to the R times T, rate times time. All right, that PERT formula is crucial. All right, for being able to do these type problems. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.